Hi there, it's Michelle Abarca from the Unstoppables Tupperware team. Today I want to show you how to create a virtual catalog. I use my virtual catalogs to share with my customers by email or text. I also post a virtual catalog on the first day of a Facebook party. During the party I like to share my album instead, but um, if people want to sneak peek at the catalog, I'll post a virtual catalog on the first day of my party. This is how to create a virtual catalog. So the first thing you're going to do is go to my.tupperware.com. You're going to sign in with your username and passwords. I'm already signed into my account so I don't have to do that. The next thing you're going to do is go to Salesforce website. There's two ways you can find the current catalogs. You can either type in the catalog you're looking for right here in the search resources or you can go down to the tab that says current offers click on explore and here are your catalogs so today I am going to show you how to do a brochure a mid-month brochure since you'll be doing that probably once a month so on the mid-month brochures I'm going to click on explore and I'll see a bunch of different brochures I'm going to find the one that I'm looking for to make a virtual catalog out of. I'm going to click on explore and I should see a list like this. I want to download the mid-July brochure in PDF version. So I'm going to click on this one and that's what should happen. You should see something that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that sidebar and if you scroll down you'll see the entire mid-July brochure right here. I'm going to come over here and click on download. Once I've clicked download, it should show up down here. Or maybe your computer has a download folder. I'm not sure. I have a Mac, so mine might be a little bit different than yours. Once you find the spot where that brochure downloaded, you're going to open it up by clicking on it. The next step is to go up to File and click on Save Page As. Then decide what folder that you want to place that in. Put it in a folder that's easy to find. I have a folder called July 2019 that I already created. So that's where I'm going to put it just so it's easy for me to find it when I go to make my virtual catalog. Click on save. That's the first step you need to do before you're going to create a virtual flyer. The next thing you're going to do is go to a website called Issue. I-S-S-U-U. You're going to create a free account by picking the username and password. I've already done that so this is what it's going to look like once you sign in to your basic issue account. I have a basic account, it's free. So all I want to do is take that flyer that I just downloaded into my computer and I want to upload it in here. So I'm going to click the plus button at the top I'm going to find the file that I just saved. And remember, I saved it on my computer in July. And here it is. It's the mid-July PDF. I'm going to click it. And it's uploading my file now. While it's uploading, I'm going to go ahead and pick a title for it. I'm going to pick the type. It's Promotion Marketing. I'm going to click on Publish now. And then I'm going to click on Share. When I click on Share, I'm going to get the link to issue. I'm going to copy it. You want to take that link and you want to save it somewhere that it's handy so that you can easily share it on day one of your Facebook parties or so that you can easily share it when you email your customers. When I share that link, this is what's going to happen. This is what your customers will see when they click on your link. It's a virtual catalog. And it looks really small right there. You might want to instruct your customers to click on the full screen at the bottom. And that way, they can easily flip through the catalog. Just like that.